Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 3 Square and Square Roots Exercise 3A Question 1. This is find the squares of the following numbers. So we just have to find the squares of these numbers. We already know what squares are. If I have A, so A into A, that means A square, right? Multiplying a number by itself, right? So, see, first we have 15 becomes 15 into 15. That is what? 15 into 15 is 75. Uh, sorry, 15 into 5, that is 75. So, 5 and 7. 15 into 1, 15 plus 7, that is 225. This is just multiplication, you can do it on your own also. Then we have 48. 48 will become 48 into 48 that is what let's do this multiplication here we have 48 and again 48 8 into 8 is 4 and 6 carried over 32 and 6 3 and 8 and 4 into 8 32 again and 3 carried over this time so 4 into 4 1 9 right 4 10 1 3 12 1 13 and 1 2 3 0 4 right so 2304 this becomes the square of 48 you can even check here 4 and 1 10 and 1 so 9 3 12 1 13 and 1 right so 2304 that is correct then we have third of third one that is 6 by 7 that will become 6 by 7 into 6 by 7 which is 6 into 6 becomes 36 right upon 7 into 7 becomes 49 so that becomes your square then fourth one 21 upon 25 that will be 21 upon 25 into 21 upon 25 that is what see 21 into 1 becomes 21 so 1 2 carried over 21 into 2 is 42 plus 2 becomes 441 upon now 25 into 25 so square root of 25 is uh, 625 but uh, I'll just do it for you guys so 5 5 2 5 to 10 and 112 125 here 2 into 25 is 50 so 5 2 and 1 625 as I said so 625 here right another one has been solved now fifth part this is what 6 whole 3 by 8 now here also we will convert mixed fractions into improper fractions we cannot proceed with mixed fractions right we can, there is no way to finding the square of this number directly so we will make it as an improper fraction 8 into 6 is 48 and 3 so 51 upon 8 into 51 upon 8 that is what again multiplication so do it so see 51 and 51 this will be 51 5 25 so 1 sorry 0 1 so 2 6 0 1 2 6 0 1 upon 8 into 8 8 square is 64 so 64 here okay 64 so 2 6 0 1 upon 64 then we have 0 0.9 now here is the thing when it comes to decimal numbers the square of a decimal number will always be smaller than it right so we all have done uh, squares of numbers so we all know that square is greater than the original number like we have 2 square 3 square you can see 15 was square so we got 225 225 is greater than 15 48 was square we got 2304 2304 which is of course greater than 48 same for all of these numbers right uh, okay so basically we have when we have a decimal then the square will what decrease not increase see 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 this we all know so we all know decimal multiplication we uh, here we have 0 here we have 0 so ignore 0 9 into 9 81 so put 81 here leave some space and then write 81 now count number of decimal places here there is a decimal after one place 
here there is decimal point after one place total how many places two digits two places so again one two here so 0 0.81 here right so you can see over here that what's happening 0 0.9 into 0 0.1 so 0 0.9 and 0 0.81 which is greater 0 0.9 is greater right so that means that the square is what less or you can say smaller than the original value now same here see we have 1.1 this will be 1.1 into 1.1 which is what basically if i remove these decimals of 1.1 we have 11 into 11 all right so 11 into 11 is uh, your this 121 so 121 right so write it down 1 and 2 and 1 how many decimal places one decimal place one more decimal place how many in total two so put decimal point after two places 1.21 okay so you can see again same thing is happening over here but one more condition is there that if the decimal number is greater than one right then what will happen its square will increase it is only there for the numbers that are less than one and are in decimal between 1 and 0 we have 0 0.9 0 0.8 and so on so on so there are infinite numbers so here it will increase but here it will decrease why because it is less than 1 next we have eighth part 0 0.018 so 0 0.018 into 0 0.018 that is what again 18 square only we have to do right so what is the square of 18 let's quickly uh, do that right so you can see here a 8 into 8 4 and 6 so 4 1 14 1 and 18 so 4 12 and 1 324 right 324 sorry let's leave some space because many decimals are there so 3 2 4 now count number of decimal places here we have one two three three de uh, decimal after three places then again one two three so again after three decimal places in total how many decimal places three plus three six right so one two three four five and six here we will put the decimal zero point zero 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 three two four that becomes our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye